Sarah McBride. Welcome to 30 Minutes With. It's so wonderful to be with you. So give us the full title of the book. So the book is Tomorrow Will Be Different, Love, Loss, and the Fight for Trans Equality. And the book really is about my own journey as a transgender woman and as a transgender advocate, mm -hmm. uh, told through my love story with my future husband, Andy, who was a transgender man and transgender advocate who sadly was diagnosed with cancer and eventually passed away from cancer shortly after we married on our building in Washington, D.C., on the rooftop of our building. What did Andy teach you about empathy? A lot. Um, Andy taught me, I think one of the most profound things that Andy, my, my late spouse, taught me is that compassion is only true compassion when it's principled compassion. So Andy and I had a had an argument <clears throat> around whether we should out anti-LGBTQ politicians and folks who like to out those politicians talk about the hypocrisy of being closeted in LGBTQ and trying to attack people who are LGBTQ, which I hear and I get. And, and, and frankly, at the start of this conversation with Andy, I sided with. He said, look, principles only matter if you're willing to stand by them when they're tough. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can, you can always find a al seemingly altruistic way to violate a first principle. But as advocates for LGBTQ equality, I will never undermine someone else's ability to live their gender identity or sexual orientation the way they see fit, the mm -hmm. way they need to, the way they're most comfortable. I, that is a first principle. I can't fight. If, if the principle I'm willing to fight for is not one that I'm not willing to break, mm -hmm. then I'm not really fighting for that principle. And Andy said, we're not ever going to win people over by outing people. That just will not happen. We will win people over by getting the appropriate laws passed by changing hearts and minds, by updating policies, by creating space for people to feel comfortable coming out. Mm -hmm. Outing people will never achieve that goal. It might feel viscerally pleasing, but vengeance is not justice, and vengeance won't get us to where we need to be.